Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and another Sims Free Play Let's Build video. We're gonna do a version of a house that we've previously toured on the channel. I'm gonna show you where to find that on our channel. It's called the Latin Inspired Family Home. I'm not gonna build the exact same house in this video because we have some new stuff to play with in the game. Uh, we recently had, at the time of this recording, something called the Country Homestead event and we weren't able to do a video of that event, unfortunately, because we were really busy in real life, but I definitely want to do something with the furniture that we got from the event. So we're here on a normal size lot that's an 18 by 18 standard size lot, and I'm just gonna go ahead and build the rooms and just uh, follow along as best you can. I'll explain more why rooms are shaped the way they are when I start putting in the doors and furniture and stuff like that, because it'll make more sense then. But for now, this is just the main floor. Uh, what I just built was the kitchen and dining room and family room, and that right there is gonna be the living room, and this right here is gonna be the entry hall. Now to build houses with more than one floor, you need to complete the multi-story renovations quest at level 17 or higher. And you also need to complete a whole bunch of other quests before you can get to that quest, so if you're not there yet, just be patient. Now we're up on the next floor, and I'm just building bedrooms and a small office nook here. This is going to be a three-part bathroom. Those of you who have seen a lot of our uh, house tours and stuff, you might remember that I like to do that a lot. I like to have bathrooms that have different sections to them for more privacy and stuff. And just because it's kind of cool to challenge yourself to build, you know, oddly shaped rooms. So this house is a three bedroom house and uh, on the right side, you're gonna have the master suite. And on the left side, just a couple of bedrooms for kids. Now to build balconies, you also need to have completed the multi-story renovations quest and the patio quest those obviously, again, will be level 17 or higher after you complete the other quests that come before the multi-story renovations quest. To build patios, you only need to be at level 15 or higher, and to start the patio quest, you need to find the construction worker sim in the park. We've got walkthroughs of basically all of those quests on our channel as well, if you need help and want to know what to expect from those quests. You can definitely build this house without patios. They're a bit expensive, so, you know, if you want to, then you don't have to. I just think they're kind of cool, and, you know, you can use them for, like, porches or just a deck out back, that kind of thing. So here I'm starting to use some of the new country homestead stuff, like these white doorways, and I'm not going to use them throughout the whole house, but I just think, you know, they're really pretty and just wanted to see what they look like. I haven't had a chance to build with them at all, so kind of doing it live here in this Let's Build video, so pardon me if I, you know, make mistakes or take a long time to decide what to do with them. I really wish they'd given us a single open doorway. They gave us a single doorway with, uh, you know, glass in it, but just to have like an open one, like an archway kind of thing, would have been nice to have as well. So as I'm placing doors, they might start to make the rooms make more sense. So you're going to see things like closets and the sectioning off of the bathrooms and all of that. So as usual with these Let's Build videos, this is just for example, for a demonstration. If you're building this in your own town, then feel free to make whatever changes you want to, you know, put in whatever furniture and decorations you want to. The only thing we ask is if you are sharing your version of this house on social media, like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, then just please let people know that you got the design from us, Make Two, on YouTube. Okay, now I'm going to place windows, and again we have a whole complement of Country Homestead windows.
Not sure how I feel about the diagonal looking floor. It's nice to have diagonal pattern wood like that, but sometimes the, especially the really dark stripey one can look a little bit hard to decorate around. I think putting in the floors and walls also makes it more clear which rooms are meant to be for bathrooms and which is meant to be for hallways and bedrooms and closets and that kind of thing. So that is the upstairs and now we're going to do the downstairs. So this skinny room on the top left here is a stairwell to get to the basement. Now basements, you need to complete the basement quest, which comes after the balcony quest and the patio quest. And, and like I said earlier in the video, all of that needs to come after the multi-story renovations quest. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting in furniture, starting with the bathrooms. So again, you can see how things work out. There's like a small room for a toilet, a small room for a shower, and then putting in sinks, double sinks for the family bathrooms upstairs. Master suite gets a bathtub as well, very luxurious. And then downstairs, we just have this small sink and toilet powder room for guests to use. In the kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, leveled up. <laughs> In the kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and splurge on the large double fridge, putting in country homestead countertop stuff around the oven. I definitely really, really like the new countertops. I think they're really beautiful. I'm not sure why the island doesn't come in the same countertop colors as the other countertops, but not going to complain. Just saying, I'm not sure why. <laughs> the stuff is a little fussy to place though. Um, the oven hood, I had to put that in first before putting in the oven. I tried to put the uh, hood over the oven and it wouldn't work. So you've got to put the hood in first and then the oven after. And I think that corner unit was also really hard to rotate Basically, sometimes in this game, if something doesn't work at first, it might help to just keep tapping around and make it work.
Okay, so this front room here with the green walls is meant to be like a library or a study or basically a family room where you can just sort of chill out, read books, play chess. And so because it's meant to be a relaxing kind of room, I'm putting these two armchairs on either side of the chess table. Unfortunately, that means if Sims are sitting in those armchairs, they can't use the chess table. You need to use like dining room chairs in order for Sims to be able to use the chess table. But I just kind of like the idea of armchairs around a chess table. I feel like it's just cozier and warmer and more relaxing. So we got a bunch of chests of drawers from this country homestead event, so I'm just kind of placing them around the house for decorations. You might also see me using some of the urban furniture, which was from a limited time event a while back. And I'm just going for sort of white colored furniture because I just am in a snowy, wintry kind of mood right now because it's at the time of this recording, it's snowing. So um, that's why the colors in this house are also very light. Um, actually, this room already has a closet on the right side, so I'm putting this wardrobe in the master closet. And like I said, if you're building this house in your town, feel free to do whatever you want with the decorations. If you want the bedrooms to be kid-themed, for instance, then feel free to use kid furniture. Gonna put a couple of chairs in the master suite. And I like to put plants all around my houses. I think just kind of makes things look more decorative and pretty and lived in, like somebody actually lives in the house. There's tons of plants in the game. I'm just putting in whatever's easiest because I need the recording to go faster. So, you know, feel free to put in better plants in your own version. And everybody gets a TV in their bedrooms, cause why not? And then over here at the front of the house is that computer office nook that I mentioned before. And that gets another cozy couch as well. On the balcony and the patios, I'm using some of this free paving that we got from the spa event, which was a limited time event in the game a while back. And then out on the balcony, just some lounge chairs. So members of the family can get some sun. Then out on the patio, in the back, a table and chairs and a grill so people can grill outside.
So I'm just going to put some rugs down. A lot of these rugs, or I guess maybe all of the rugs, they come from just completing a hobby events or limited time events. Now in the basement, I am just going to use this tiny little room as a laundry room, and I'm going to use countertops as like a pretend. So you got a sink and a tall countertop to be like a washer and dryer stacked on top of each other. And then just some flooring and wallpaper. And then I think that is it. That's the house. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Build tutorial. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.